Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. In the era of AI where AI is helping humans in each and every possible domains of life, it is very very important that we understand how we can get things done with the help of AI. So I was working on finding some of the best AI tools which can help our testing community and since we had already covered so many UI testing related AI tools, so I thought why not to cover AI tools related to API testing specifically. And in this video, we are going to discuss one of the very powerful AI automation tool which is helping do API testing. So without any delay, let's start this video. And first of all, I'm going to tell you what are different features of this AI tool and how it is going to help us do API testing. And then I am also going to tell you how it is going to generate hundreds of test cases within minutes. So you will be creating hundreds of test cases in just few minutes. So this video is going to be super helpful and super powerful because we are going to use the power of AI to perform API testing using this tool. And the name of this AI tool I'm going to reveal in mid of the video. So don't lose your patience, watch till end because this is very power packed API testing tool, which is going to help us with the power of AI. Okay, so now we are at the dashboard of this AI tool. And on this, if you see, we can have this input methods through which we can provide different types of inputs to this API. So here, if you see, we can give API. So basic details of your API using uh, like what type of method it is, HTTP method, URL query parameters, and all those things. Also, we can import different API, open API specifications. So through that also, we can give inputs. Uh, we can also import Postman collections. So that also can be helpful over here to create uh, APIs. Also, we can give curl command also. So through which we can give the input to this tool. Now uh, it is also giving us some of the sample APIs. So if you don't have any API and you wanted to learn this tool, uh, then this provides some sample APIs also. So we have a stock price API through which we can uh, you know, uh, learn some uh, things here. E-commerce related API, so geolocation API, TV show search APIs. So different types of sample APIs have also been given, which is very, very useful because uh, when we learn, then we don't have much resources. So this is going to be helpful to learn this particular AI tool. So if you wanted to learn this, then this is definitely going to help you. Now, uh, coming back, then sample APIs, as I already mentioned, we have this APIs and now test suits. So basically you can create test suits and uh, through that you can have multiple test cases inside. I'll just show how you can generate different tests also using AI. So this is very powerful within few minutes only you are going to create multiple test cases, maybe hundreds of test cases in fraction of minutes. So uh, this is very fast because that's the power of AI, right? So in here, uh, this is how you can generate test suits, uh, which is going to help you write multiple test cases, generate uh, them instead, run them. So, okay. So this is going to help you over there. Now groups also, you can combine test suits. So if you have created different test suits based on different, you know, uh, put patch, uh, get post re uh, requests, then you can group those test suits also through that uh, it is going to helpful. Workspace also you can create because if you are working for, um, you know, in your team, basically there are multiple team members, then it is always good to, you know, uh, separate things out whenever it is required. So uh, you can create workspaces, environments also, because we are testing, we are going to test on multiple environments. So this is also do, uh, definitely going to help us to, uh, you know, uh, do testing on multiple environments. So you can create multiple environments as well. Generation is status. So real time updates with Koso AI generates tests for your APIs. So through that also you can get the generation status. What is the real time update? How it is generating your test cases? You can get that. Also all the documentations and guides also have been provided so that we can learn it properly also while, you know, if we are using any particular API or AI uh, tool, then it is always good to have documentations also. 
So I'll just show you how we are going to generate so many test cases in a fraction of seconds. So if you wanted to generate test suits or test cases related to one of the API, so we are going to go on uh, test suits over here. You can click on create. So basically, if um, you have some uh, input methods already ready for you, then you can use out of these input methods. But if you don't have any, then you can try uh, the sample APIs. So right now I am going to use this stock prices related API. So once I click that, you see it has automatically generated some of the uh, URLs and some of the whatever related to the uh, you know test generation and that particular API uh, related uh, information was there. It has already generated. You have got this endpoint URL. What type of HTTP method uh, basically you are going to write test for? Also headers in here. You see it has already generated headers. If you have any other thing, you can provide in here also. It has also some path parameters, query parameters, and all of those things it has generated you also have request body also. So whatever it could think of, it could fetch off is already generated using AI. So now if I just go in here, you can change this uh, because we are using the um, sample APIs. So I am going to go on uh, post related uh, you know, method. So I want to create tests related to post uh, method so it has provided all the details but if you have a, any specific details you can create uh, test cases for that also so i'm just going to click on generate tests so over here if i click then it is going to start the test case generation so we will just count how much how much time it takes so it is going to be fun uh, believe me so let's see how much how many test cases it generates in what time okay as i click right now it's 908 at the moment so if i click on generate let's see how much time it takes okay so i just clicked and it has started creating test cases you will see how many number of test cases it has generated all tests right now is zero and as soon as you click on generate test cases kuso ai's test basically uh, starts to generate and AI engine of this particular AI tools starts to write test cases. So right now, 60 test cases it is going to generate for that specific use case. Okay, we have written test cases for post, right? So let's see how much time it takes to generate test cases, uh, 60 test cases basically. So right now out of 60, it has identified basically for that particular feature. So it has generated three test cases, four, five. So right now we uh, have just consumed only one minute. So let's see if it can generate 60 test cases in just one minute, less than one minute. So basically it is going to generate and it has generated almost 60 test cases. It has finished generating 65, 70. Okay. So okay. Now it is done with generating all the test cases. So it has generated 70 test cases within a minute we have not passed one minute also so within less than one minute it has generated 70 test cases now let's see what different types of test cases it has generated so you will see it has generated different types of test cases okay positive negative uh you know different types of test cases so if i just click on positive so you see it has provided the um tags also to particular test cases so for positive scenarios it has generated all these test cases let's see uh, for negative scenarios also it must have generated some of the uh, test cases see for negative uh, scenarios it has generated so many test cases right so negative test cases negative test cases invalid values so test with a very long string for query params dot function field Okay, so like that it has generated for different different types of test cases, uh, basically based on different scenarios. Okay, so it is generating this way and it has literally generated 70 test cases in less than one minute. So this way basically you can go and check the details also and in here if you see it has generated all these test cases and you by clicking on uh, this 
button run button it is it is going to uh, you know uh, put the status code like uh, what is the status code right now it is getting 405 so you can put response also you can see response also what response ex actually it is giving so you see over here you got 405 and response this you can also add assertions so if you know the assertions if you wanted to put some assertions you can do by yourself or you can generate using ai so if i just click on generate using ai it has also uh, generated the uh, assertions for you so i am just going to click on save and run and it has generated and saved all those assertions as well so for now it has saved all these assertions so if i just now click on run it has saved all the it has passed all the assertions also and what time did it take it took just two one three milliseconds like 200 milliseconds so in that uh, way, we can generate more than 100 test cases in in a couple of minutes. You can provide the test cases also. Uh, it can generate considering the use case you are going to provide. So over here, all test cases, executed test cases, one only one test cases got executed, right? And one test case passed and failed zero. So you can filter out test cases from here also. So this is very, very useful. And now if we go on groups, basically we can group all these test cases. So you can create the group. You can name the uh, group name also is stock API related groups. And once you create the group, you can add the test cases also. Now this stock API related group has been created. Now, if I just go in here and see uh, the test suits we had created, we had just created one test suit related to this. Uh, alpha advantage IBM intraday data test. So we can add this particular test suit into the groups also, right? So add to group, uh, it is going to add uh, added to the group also. So add to group, which one? A stock API, we can add this to the group also. So we can go in group and all the test cases will be here. We will be seeing all the test cases, uh, test suits basically is here now. Now test suit and generation uh, status also, we can generate the test cases. And uh, you know through that, we can go and check uh, different types of uh, test suit generation status. What is the status of uh, tests which is getting generated? So over here also, you can manage your workspace. Uh, you can also add your CI CD pipeline. So Jenkins or something like that. And it can be also added into the Jenkins pipeline there is one new feature so you can add end to end test cases so uh, maybe in uh, other some other video we will go through end to end things so this is how we can generate the test cases in here and this is how basically you can create test suits and test cases and you can use different uh, methods also to generate the test cases thank you for watching this video i hope this video has given you some insights about AI powered API testing tool. And if you found this video helpful, do share with your friends and colleagues and do let me know in the comment box what particular feature was awesome about this API tool. And also tell me in the comment box if you found this video helpful and what different types of videos you wanna listen from me. And I am going to bring some more testing related AI tools and how you can incorporate AI in your testing journey. I'm going to bring more video on that. So if you have any particular idea about the videos or topics you wanna listen from me, just put in the comment box and I am going to make those videos as well. And if you wanna listen more from me related to AI and how I am using AI in my testing career, then do let me know in the comment box and we will have a separate video on that as well. And I hope this video was helpful. Do share, like and comment about your thoughts and see you in the next one.